You're listening to Empathica Radio, home to unsigned metal, hardcore, and punk artists, the true underground. Hail to the king, baby. So there is uh, something I want to bring to your attention. What's that? Um, this has happened to me several times now and it's making me never want to go to the uh post office here in O'Fallon. Yeah. So I go there regularly for when I'm ordering stuff. Yeah. Uh if it comes from another country, I have to go to the post office to pick it up. Yeah. Cuz they always whenever people from out of, out of the country send, send you shit, you always have to sign for it. Yeah. Is that normal? I guess. Any, I got, anytime I have to sign for it, it's because it's coming from overseas. Because I got a record from Germany last week, and I thought they were just going to leave it, but you know, my girlfriend was home. She said she had to sign for it. Yes. I guess I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's always been that way, yeah. but recently, if I the same thing. I get records. Uh, I'm never home, so I have to oh. go to the fucking post office to get it. You know, they'll leave you that. The only, I, let me take that back. So I do like that they do this one way. They don't normally give me that little slip that says we'll be back tomorrow yeah. at the same time when we know uh-huh. you're not going to be home yeah uh usually it's like come pick this shit up any uh-huh. time after this so that's what i do i go the next day and get it but here's my issue and it's not even with the postal service or the people shipping it it's just one guy <laughs> that works there yeah. there's usually two dudes back there behind the counter and i get in line because it's never me just walking in there's always a line you know maybe two people three four whatever and every time I pray not to get this certain guy. <laughs> and guess who I get every time? So he's the type of dude that likes to sit there and chatter, just chatter it up with everybody. Yeah. And uh, and this started a while back. I went in there, and his name is Steve Smith. Oh, no shit. Yes. Oh. So I got a package. I was going to sign for something. You know, I told him, I, I gave him the slip. Uh, and he went back and got it, and he's like, he's like, Steve Smith? He's like, he's like, that's my name, too. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. There's, like, billions of us, yeah. bro. Who cares? <laughs> and he's like, I've never met another. He's like, I haven't met a Steve Smith since I went to high school or went to grade school with one. And this uh-huh. dude's probably in his mid-50s. Uh-huh. And I, I was, like, in and out. of Like, he's, like, so excited about it. And I'm just like, <laughs> whatever. And he had said. I didn't understand what he said until after I answered the question. Yeah. He said, like, he's like, you don't spell it with a PH, do you? And yeah. I do, because I spell Steven uh-huh. with a PH. But I didn't hear what he, like, I didn't, it didn't register in my brain. I'm like, no. And then I was like, oh, shit, I do. And I was hoping he wasn't going to ask me for my ID because the dude got, like, he was, like, super <laughs> crazy and so excited. He took a fucking picture of me with what? him. Yes, I swear to God. He had the other guy behind the car. He's like, oh, I want to. Take a picture with me with it. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I just want to get my record and go the fuck home. So it's like, whatever. I get out of there. And this has happened. I've had the same conversation with them four fucking times now. Really? Yes. Steve Smith? I haven't I haven't met a Steve Smith <laughs> since grade school. And I'm thinking, no, you did. It was me. <laughs> you did. A couple months back. A couple months back. Same conversation every time. <laughs> the last time I went in there... Which was in between our last recordings, uh-huh. you know, last month's recording. I came in and uh, it was just that. It was same spiel again. <laughs> He's like, there was a Steve Smith that actually came in here not too long ago. Oh, I'm thinking, that was me, you <laughs> asshole. How do you not fucking remember that? Uh, you got a picture on your phone. <laughs> yeah, no shit, dude. You took a picture of me, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> And it's every time. I'm like, God damn it. I got to go to the post office. I walk in there. I'm like, please don't let this guy be working. <laughs> of course he is. And it's like, and I try to like, I'm like just waiting to where I can just dart around him and get to the other guy. And no, every time I got to deal with this dude. Every time. It's fucking, <laughs> it's terrible, terrible is what it is. Uh wonder if he does that to everyone. Fred <laughs> Jones? That's my name. That's my name. Fred Jones since... I haven't met Fred Jones since I was in grade school. Maybe that's <laughs> the only way he stays sane working yep. for the post office. It's not his name at all. 
But I was afraid that that first time when he was like, like I said, you don't spell with a PH. And I said, no, because I just, I don't, I must have thought he said something else because then I realized like, oh, I <laughs> do or I was like, I remember thinking, oh, fuck, what's if he wants to see my ID and he's going to see a PH and he's like, you told me you didn't spell with a PH and it would have got even more awkward. <laughs> So it was just like, but he didn't. And luckily they don't ever ask for your ID when you go yeah. and do that. So, because you give him that slip, but whatever. <laughs> it's like, fuck, man. So, we've got a beer to drink. And I'm I'm not really that excited about it. Oh, really? I, someone gave me these and I've had yeah. them in here for a while. So, I just need to get drink. And I'm not excited about it because I really just don't care about the brewery. Oh, really? Yeah. Have you been there? It's 4204. Yeah, I've eaten at the restaurant. I never drank their beer. Right. So this one is called a salted caramel pecan ale. And it has a picture of a salt shaker beating up a chunk of butter. (laughs) (laughs) I think that's supposed to be a caramel cube. (laughs) It's butter. It's yellow. (laughs) (laughs) What fucking caramel have you ever eaten that's yellow? That's a fucking piece of butter it's beaten up, <laughs> all right? <laughs> Tell me it's not. It does look more like good. It's yellow, bro. <laughs> it's a quarter stick of butter. <laughs> <laughs> That's how shitty this brewery is. <laughs> they can't even get the color right on the can. Um, uh, You couldn't do a brown? <laughs> you know, a light brown uh, caramel color? Here, I'm going to put that on there for the live because we're doing live. That is <laughs> fucking yellow. That is That looks like butter. <laughs> Salt shaker beating up butter. I mean, I'm sure there's butter in the ingredients if you get a pecan pie. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Probably. So, um, so these guys are out of Belleville. They're not very impressive. It's only five point five alcohol. It's weak. They kind of remind me of a brewery. They remind me of like Shock Top a lot. Yeah. Even though Shock Top tasted better in their beer, uh-huh. but it's like a mild form. Of whatever they're brewing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, if you go get one of their IPAs, it's not going to be, like, a normal IP- IPA. It'll be a... To me, it's a lighter flavor. It's for people that don't really drink craft beer. Yeah. That will drink this, and then they think they're drinking all this craft beer, but they won't go anywhere outside of this right. realm. Because that was the whole deal with the uh, Shock Top. Uh-huh. Why Anheuser-Busch did that. It was just a... Them pushing... They had to do something because all this craft beer is hurting their sales. Uh-huh. So they come out with their line of this. And like I said, there was a lot of those I did like, but flavor-wise, it was real real mild. Uh-huh. You know, it wasn't like the real deal. So I'm going to open this cocksucker and see if this is going to be a salted, buttery flavor or what. Oh, what to say? It says our pecan brown ale infused with sweet caramel and a touch of salt. No butter? They didn't list butter on <laughs> didn't there. They butter. <laughs> then why do they have butter on the can? I don't know. Ooh, that is caramel. Yeah. I like it. You like it? Yeah, caramel's awesome, by the way. Oh, I mean, I like caramel. Yeah, really. I used to eat those all the time, those little caramel cubes. It's good. Pulls the fillings out of your fucking teeth when you're eating them. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> it's all good. But oh, I used to love eating those. Oh, tastes like pecans also. You getting that taste now? Yeah. I don't really care for pecans. Really? Eh, I don't really eat nuts. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> lie to me. I've known you a long time, bro. <laughs> Why do they have you over here getting drunk? <laughs> so you don't you you won't do a pecan pie? Uh, not if there's apple pie or... Uh, uh, right, something else, just lemon a meringue pie or something, something like that. Yeah. See, I like I like pecan pie, but that's like a one slice deal for me because yeah. it's so fucking rich. Yeah, yeah. but it's good. Uh, no, it's not bad, but like I said, this is someone gave me these. I, I would never buy their stuff just because there's just a lot of other better breweries in St. Louis yeah. area. And I say they're not terrible. It doesn't taste bad. It's yeah. just it's just mild beer. If I went there and ate, I would most likely get a beer uh-huh. but there's nothing there there would be nothing there i can imagine and i'm gonna be like oh that's too strong tasting yeah. it's just all gonna be yeah. uh-huh. pretty lighter flavor um i did go there and eat i ate one time uh and i got a flight yeah. and uh i'm going down the list i can't remember what their flights were if it was five or six i don't fucking remember so i'm going down the list of what they had and they had some strange thing at the bottom 
that uh uh hold on oh god sorry uh <laughs> the uh it was it, it seemed like it was gonna be super sweet and it was made with like a syrup uh-huh. it was a, a weird but the alcohol content was like super low it was only like three oh. percent but i think a lot of sours like that can do that and get real super low but i was like interested in how it was going to taste it seemed like the name of it and like what was all in it i was like oh that's interesting so i put it on as one of my things of the flight and the uh-huh. waiter came over and i gave him my sheet or whatever told him what i wanted in the flight and he's like oh we don't have that one anymore we're out and i said oh okay i'll get something else he's like oh he's like you probably wouldn't like it anyways and he's like talking down on it i'm like how are you gonna tell me what i'm gonna like you have no idea what i like which happened to me last night <clears throat> before we went to that wedding uh me the wife travis and his wife were pre-gaming at uh global brew <clears throat> and uh what did i get oh so i got my first glass of beer i got uh fuck i can't remember the name of it now it's a forehand sour uh prussia prussia prussia, prussia i think you how you say it? i'm sure i'm saying it wrong but i've had it before uh-huh. it's good i like it and I, that's what i order and she's like that is a sour I'm like, I know I've had it before. <laughs> and then she like walked away and me and Travis are laughing about it. It's like, it happens a lot when you get sour. Like people like warn you. Oh. And I'm like, I know it is. That's why I'm getting it. I like sours. But like he said, so many people probably get it and they're like, Ugh, yeah. this is gross. And then they, they bitch and complain about it. I'm like, I guess. I was like, I'm probably just telling you. So she doesn't yeah, she didn't, want, she didn't want me bitching and she uh-huh. doesn't want to go pour it out. But uh-huh. I get why she does it. But it's just like... <laughs> Fuck them, man. That's what they ordered. I'd charge them for another beer. You don't. Yeah. I mean, this is the reason you're at these places to try stuff. If you're not sure of it, ask for a sample. They'll give you one. Because she brought us over a a, a, a sample of a uh, barrel aged sour, and it was. I don't like barrel aged stuff. I'm not a bourbon drinker, yeah. so it didn't really. It, you could tell it had that taste. The smell was horrendous. <laughs> I mean, it smelled like bourbon, but it didn't. It didn't have a strong bourbon taste. You could taste it. But it wasn't that bad. But it was like, ugh. Then I went to get, and she gave us a sample of, uh, I think it was Uplands, fuck, what was it, White Oak or something? I don't remember. <clears throat> it was a, but it was a sour. Tried that, was, oh, that was pretty good. I said, I was like, I'll take a glass of that. She's like, uh, it's $10 a glass, just so you know. I said, yeah, I'll pass on that. I'll get, uh, <laughs> and I changed my mind right away. I was like, I'm not paying $10 for a glass of fucking beer. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, and go to whatever, Cardinals game or whatnot. Yeah, I'll pay that much, much for a fucking Bud Light. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't do that, so. But shit, man. $10 for a glass of beer? I mean, really? Yeah, seriously. What? You can go to the gas station and get an 18-pack for like $12. Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> I just don't get how they charge all this shit, yeah. you know, all this money. But whatever. I can't remember what I got in my second round. Uh, oh, it was a key lime pie or a key lime flavor sour. I don't remember whose it was, though who made it, which I've had key lime sours before, and they're pretty good if you like key lime pie. I don't know if I've ever had that. I don't really? I have. don't Ooh, remember. Man, I love it. Anyway, 4204 has one called Old Foam Hammer Malt Forward English Strong Ale Brewed with Molasses and Barrel Aged. Gross. Oh, really? No, no, no I've never had it. Yeah. Why, do you want to try it? Uh, it's 10% alcohol. Oh. So. It probably tastes bad. Yeah. <clears throat> But molasses, that'd be good. I like molasses. I can't imagine. Do you think it's thick in the can like that? <laughs> <laughs> like maple syrup or Just something? Trying to pour it. takes you 10 <laughs> minutes to pour it into a glass. You're like, they got it on tap and they hit the tapper. It's going to be a while, sir. <laughs> Come back in about 15 minutes and your glass will be full. Oh, you got to drink your beer with a spoon. Yeah, you have to. There'll be ants on it, too. Because <laughs> it takes so long to pour, the ants are coming for it. Yeah, no, I'm just not impressed with 4204 much. I don't really care about them. Someone gave me these, and I've had them in there a while, and I didn't have time to go out and get beer. I was a lazy dick and didn't do it. But we're going through with these. <laughs> I mean, if you, I mean, I can't say, honestly, this is a bad-tasting beer. It tastes decent, yeah. you know. So, I mean, I, I, I guess I would say, I guess I would have to approve the taste. If you get it, you'll probably like it if you like caramel. It's not disgusting or anything. It just They just don't impress me much. There's better breweries in St. Louis. That don't impress me much. It's about a song by Shania Twain. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I mean, why do you know that? 
because I don't want to hear. It's nice to look at. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. I was gonna say you better have a good excuse. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go out to uh, I'll have to run out to fry our tux for next month. If we're uh, trying to debate on if we'll be uh, in your basement by then or not. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Moving spots. Get out of this uh, closet we're hiding in. Steve's coming out of the closet. You goddamn right. <laughs> I thought I've done that on the show already. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being more room down there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be just setting it up to where it doesn't sound like poop, but that'll be an easy fix, I'm pretty sure. I definitely like the, or when I get up, I don't have to like squeeze by boxes and yeah. almost fall over every time. I mean, if there was a fire, Brennan, I'm done for back here. What if the yeah. soundboard just caught fire? <laughs> I'm trapped back here, bro. <laughs> You oh, can run. You yeah. just turn and you're out my back door. Me, I'm in this corner and I'm going up in flames with these blankets on the walls. And I would turn and run. I wouldn't help you. I know you would. <laughs> You'd just be like, peace. <laughs> You'd probably light your cigarette off the flames real quick and then run <laughs> yeah. outside. Why I'm burning up like that guy outside of D.C. or outside of... Yeah, I didn't read that story. What the hell is that all about? I, I don't know what it was about. Yeah. I just saw the video of it. Yeah. Of the guy setting him, he set himself on fire. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible, but I'm going to say it anyways. So uh, this meme I seen on Facebook on this meme page I'm on, somebody had superimposed the guy on fire, uh-uh. like in flames, standing on a grill with uh-uh. a bunch of fire, and it said something about s'more time or something. Uh-uh. <laughs> the dude was taking it like a trooper, though. He just standing there on fire. Really? Like, did, I mean, I don't know. If he didn't. I don't remember if I had sound on or not, but... <laughs> That dude was in flames, just walking around like it's no big deal. <laughs> I'm sure it was over some stupid shit that he did it, yeah. and he's dead now. Can you imagine being that crazy, that politically crazy, that you're going to end your life because you hate the politics that are going on here? Yeah. I mean, I don't care about what's going on, and people will probably be like, oh, well, you should. Well, I don't. <laughs> I just don't fucking pay attention. So, but whatever. If you want to set yourself on fire, Empathica Radio condones it. <laughs> it's one less person we got to worry about. There's too many people on the planet anyways. Yup. So. So did you hear that uh, your favorite band, Mortician, re-released their album uh, Chainsaw Dismemberment on vinyl? I did not. It's a double vinyl. A double vinyl. Because the uh, record albums... Art shaped like circular saws. Really? Yeah. So they can only fit so much on them. Yes. Yeah, so How much is it? Well, twenty five dollars. It's not bad. Uh-uh. But it's apparently out of stock. Well, fuck me. I know, cause he just posted it on his Facebook like two days ago. He's like, "Fuck you guys." They didn't really make it though. <laughs> we're gonna post this like we made it, <clears throat> and then we're gonna say it's sold out. So when we do make it, people will actually pay for it. And that sucks. Cause I probably might have ordered that. Really. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it looks cool, but eh, it's mortician. Well, yeah, I wouldn't listen to it. <laughs> I just have it. Just be like, check this out. I hope they come back here live sometime because we're going. Oh, I'd definitely go. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's where we've met each other. Yeah. It'd just be like a, a an anniversary for us. <laughs> <laughs> but that uh, would be exciting. And we'd have to bring Bill, too, and fly your brother in <laughs> so he can go. Just have the gang back together. Yep. Go back in there. And... uh Tell them to play World Damnation after they already played it. We already played that one. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't play it. You no, know, I know they didn't. It was the only song we knew by them. <laughs> the old one. Fuck out of here. We were waiting for that song all night. You never played it. When I say all night, I mean like a half hour. But I have never seen a club empty out so much <laughs> for a headliner. <laughs> Goat Whore was there. Oh, that's right, yeah. Who the fuck is Goat Whore? They were, that was when they had just started. Uh-huh. I was like, oh, my God, these guys are fucking amazing. And then when the singer was like, make sure you stick around for Marticia. Make, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, well, why wouldn't everybody stick around? So we're all here to see. They're the headliners. And then Goat Whore got done, and there were six of us left on the floor. <laughs> out of, I mean, how many people do you think were there? Oh, if you remember, shit, why Goat Whore is playing? I don't even know. I mean, you know, it's a small club, so what, yeah. probably 60 people? Yeah. Safe number? 60 people piled in there, and then, yeah. and I'm not exaggerating. There was, like, only six or eight of us left when Mortician <laughs> was playing. Ten, at, ten max. 
10 max. And it was me, you, Bill, Damien, and there was one more. Didn't you guys have another buddy there? Oh, uh, it was Chris Jennings. Yeah, yeah, I think it might have been Chris. Yeah, maybe. I th- yeah, so I think that we were technically five deep, and there was probably, yeah, safe to say five to six peop- other people there watching them. There wasn't anybody there. That was terrible. Uh, they apparently just played at the Maryland Death Fest. Did they? Yeah. Did they actually play? Apparently. I wonder what they were been doing. Other than, didn't their mother guitar players, like, get high on PCP and, like, run out into the water and yeah, die? Yeah, go went, drown himself in the ocean or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's, aw- that is awesome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm going to run out into the ocean. I wonder if he thought he could walk on water and it just didn't happen. <laughs> Whatever. It wasn't one of the original members, though, was uh, it? Was nah, it somebody that was playing yeah, with them yeah, for the live shows? Because it's just two dudes. Yeah. Then there was a third for a while that he, like, showed up on their pictures on the albums. Because I think Zombie Apocalypse, there was a third guy on the pictures, I think. Was but maybe he was the one that smoked a bunch of PCP and then ran out in the fucking ocean. Who cares? They need to come out with a new record, and they need a tour so we can see them. <laughs> I wonder where they would go around here. I'm trying to think of a club small enough. <laughs> I don't know. We saw them at the Creepy Crawlers, and they were smaller than that. Uh, I think the sinkhole's pretty small. Yeah, I don't even think uh, I've never been there, but the uh, guy I'm working with, Matt, the yeah, uh, the drummer, it was in the band we played in the last episode, uh-huh. and we're playing another one of his bands in this episode. Yeah, really. Uh, he had said that it's a, it's super small, and there's not even a stage. Oh, so you're like. You have to watch. You know what I mean? If you're tall or if you're short and you're in the back, you ain't going to see nothing because everybody's just floor level. Uh, uh, so it's like a super small club. So that's pr- my guess is probably where they'd end up or the Firebird or maybe the lounge side of uh, of uh, Foo Bar. Yeah, that's pretty small over there. We can just cre- keep our fingers crossed that they will uh, be coming back at some point. Yeah, I'm sure they will eventually. Yeah, if we're lucky. <laughs> you going to play some music? Yes. All right, let's do this. This is Christ Dismembered, Spit Forth Your Lies. Yeah. 
Spit Forth Your Lies by Christ Dismembered. They are from Millicent, Australia. You can find them at ChristDismembered.bandcamp.com. I really like that band. Speaking of bands from Australia, uh, are you familiar with the band? Oh, shit. I forgot their name. God. <laughs> really, Brendan? <laughs> Dr. Colossus. Uh, I recognize the name, but I don't, uh, I don't think I've heard of oh, them. So- oh, they're like... Uh, stoner, metal, doom, rock, something. Mm-hmm. Uh, but all their songs are about uh, Simpsons. Oh, really? That's why. Yeah. That's why. I think yeah. you've probably told me about them. And then the band Bastardizer. I'm like, not familiar with them, but I've heard. Awesome. But I've heard you talk about them. But meaning yeah. to look them up. Yeah, do it. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're fucking awesome. But they're both from Australia. Yes. And they've never toured in the U.S. And that makes me sad. But. On November 30th, they're both playing on the same bill in Australia. Oh, that's pretty cool. So You're flying to Australia? Yeah, no. <laughs> but I wish I were. <laughs> I would like to actually go there. I, that's a country that I wouldn't mind visiting. But there's, I don't know, some festival or something like that. Okay, going on there's there. There's like nine bands playing. Oh, that'd be cool. But it's in Australia, so. Yep, sorry, we won't be there. Mm. I wish we would, though be cool i'd like to go visit yeah. so uh what i mentioned earlier my buddy matt that i work with this is another one of his uh this is an older band he was in i don't think they're active anymore they're called my boy ox and the name of the song is no scene <laughs>
That was No Scene by My Boy Ox. They're from St. Louis, Missouri. You can find them at M-Y-B-O-Y-O-X dot Bandcamp dot com. Pick it up. Uh, Matt has formed a new punk band. We just capped together as a bunch of people he's played with before. So I told him I want to first dibs when they record something for us to play and promote them. So he's some more good aggressive punk music what we got up next up next is a band called garbage man and the song is hillbilly kick squad <laughs> Hillbilly Kick Squad by the band Garbage Man. You can find them at personalmilitiarecords.bandcamp.com. Right on. Uh, this next band we have is another Topeka Metal Fest band. And I'm excited about that show. September 20th, 20th and 21st. 21st at the Jayhawk Theater in Topeka, Kansas. Two day event. All sorts of fucking killer bands going to be there. What'd you say? It was like over 36 bands? Or 36, something? 38, 38, something oh like that. Oh my god, it's a lot. It's going to be I, awesome. I can't count past 20. Cause so yeah, how finger, many fingers, fingers and toes? toes that's yeah. it. I feel you, bro. <laughs> uh, we're going to be there. We're going to have a booth set up. We're going to be giving out some free stuff and hanging out and talking to people. Um, and I don't know. I'm excited. I'm just excited to go and uh, meet some new people and see a bunch of good fucking bands play. It's going to be awesome. All right, this band is called Warforged, and the name of the song is We've Been Here Before.
That was Warforged with their song, We've Been Here Before. You can find them at warforged.bandcamp.com. Uh, oh, yeah, they're from Chicago, Illinois. All right. Right next door, buddy. Where it's probably snowing right now. <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> Don't wear shorts up there. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, oh, man. What we got up next? Up next is the band Cemetery Urn and their song Tendrils of Defilement.
That was Tendrils of Defi Tendrils of Defilement by the band Cemetery Urn. They are from Melbourne, Australia. You can find them at cemetery urnbandcampcom If you like the show, please subscribe. iTunes, Google Play Music. Uh, we're on Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. We're all over the place. If you listen to podcasts, I mean, obviously, uh, you, you'll find us. I think we're we're on so many different things. It's unreal. You'll know where to look. Just type our name in. You'll find us. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, at Empathica Radio. You can follow me on Instagram, at Empathica Smitty. Uh, we do have a Facebook page. Please go there and uh, leave a review. We'd appreciate it. Let us know how we're doing. Um, if there's any topics you want to fucking hear us talk about or questions, we'll answer them on the air. Um, the weirder, the better. That's what Brendan likes. He's a weird dude. Um, what else we got going on, Brendan? Uh, I think that's it. Am I forgetting anything? Mm. Oh, email address. If you know anybody in a uh, punk, metal, hardcore band, uh, send them our way. Uh, send the submissions to empathicradio at gmail.com and we'll get you on the air. It's that simple. It's easy peasy. Do it. Do it. Play this last one and uh, go. Last band is called Ignite the Fire. They are from <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? What are you laughing what at? The the name of the city, Taney Town. I that's what it said on their Facebook. Uh, that's I, what I, okay. It, it's it's just right. a weird name of the city. I know, but long. I can't help. That's what they say. That's what I put. I don't know. <laughs> they may have been fucking with people, and that's what I put. All right. Okay, they're from Taney Town, Maryland. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny. It just. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Fucking know. people, whole town full of people you're making fun of. <laughs> Not making fun of the people, I'm making fun of the name of the town. They oh, live. my God. Anyway, Taney Town, Maryland. Very nice place to visit. Um, <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's up, dude? You just sent a bunch of people there now. It could be like in East St. Louis. We don't know. <laughs> okay, let's start this over. Okay. Okay, last band we're going to play is called Ignite the Fire. They are from Taney Town, Maryland. You can find them at facebook.com slash ignite the fire music. And the name of the song is Echoes. <laughs> So chemical, what tears me apart couldn't make a 